Hey everyone, I happen to miss the cutoff for taking out the garbage today and so I'm stuck with the garbage. And it brought back a good memory from when I was going to school in Rochester, New York. I was living in a house just like this one. Um, and uh, I had a housemate and uh, I moved in over a uh, weekend and he was home and I asked him what day do we take the garbage out because the garbage was getting close to being full. And uh, he was so preoccupied with watching TV and drinking beer and God knows what else over a weekend. Uh, to give you an idea what kind of guy we're talking about, he owned a couple of guns if I remember correctly. And uh, so, he, so he didn't tell me. And so it was a Monday and I decided, well, I'll just put the garbage on the curb to see if anything comes out. And he took the garbage back inside. I thought, okay, it's it's almost it's almost full anyway. Eventually, he's going to have to do something about it besides just drink more beer and watch more sports and whatever he likes to do. And so by Wednesday, the garbage can was unbearably full. And I thought he was going to finally tell me what's going on. We couldn't get a hold of the landlord for some reason. And so, okay, I, I go out to, to school on Wednesday. I come home and I expect him to finally do something about it. And he doesn't. He comes up with a second garbage can. Like, we have one that's overflowing. And instead of doing something about it, he comes up with a second garbage can. And so after that, I gave him a nickname. I called him the Garbophile for somebody who loves garbage. Come to think of it, I think he was lonely. And garbage was kind of, kind of like... Kind of like like a girlfriend for him, you know. He, he 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 having the garbage in his home gave him like some companionship. Now that I think about it, uh, but anyway, I ended up having to. I was driving an SUV at the time. I ended up having to uh, take the garbage somewhere else to get rid of it. Uh, and I think he even got mad at me after the garbage was gone. He accused me of quote unquote stealing his garbage or whatever it was.